G'day guys, Define from Define Mods. Thought I'd share a little um, a little discovery I've, I've, I've made in our 3D printing journey. And um, we all have to, at some time, use some sort of glue to glue our parts down to the bed. Um, th these newer beds, um, or these newer uh, PEI type powder coated beds, a lot say you don't need to as long as it's clean and, and um, temperature's right, um, you know, put your brims on, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, but but sometimes you just want to print a plate of shit and go to bed. And uh, that's what this is. This is a plate of shit and I just went to bed. And uh, I've woken up many mornings and one of these little tiny parts is lifted off. And you end up with, um, you know, ruining seven other parts as, as it goes and a, and, a, and a ball of fucking fuzz on your bed. But um, in, our, in, our, in our journey, uh, so to speak, of, of, of bed adhesives, we've, we've tried the lot, you know. Um, I've even gone down that hairspray route years ago and found that that's just the worst shit on God's earth. Um, we ended up in the end um, going with this, the Magigoo just because it's um it worked you know it it's it, 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 it worked you know we um, um you, you could start a, a large plate of prints up go to bed and not really have to worry about it um, that one part wasn't going to stick to the bed for whatever reason and um what potentially this sort of stuff does is, is it cures uh bad first layer adhesion so if your machines aren't set up 100 percent, and in the original days in the old days ours weren't we used to run um, a lot of glass beds um, and what we found was that um, when stuff did stick to a glass bed um, getting it off was another story and what we could we were uh, we were actually ripping chunks out of our beds um, in the beginning in the early days um, um, you know which is uh, <laughs> not good um, so, so what we found out is that if we put some glue down on our, on our uh, glass beds, it, it worked as a releasing agent in this case. Because these are water-soluble, you just run them, run them under a bit of water and everything would slide right off. Um, really good stuff. And we did try all the cheaper brands. Um, there is this stuff. I mean, you, you, this, we call this Perkins Paste, pretty much, or you who stick glue down here in AU. Uh, but it's basically that stick-style st stuff. And... and, and Look, while I thought this was really, um, uh, really cheap um, as a bed adhesive, it's it's just too messy. But it's just the way it goes on. It, it really clumps up. It's not even. It's not consistent. It's hard to get right. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that are going to say, "Hey, here's the tip. Here's the trick." But you know, um, I don't necessarily know that that that's you know what we were after anyway. And then you had these multitude of other, that's, that's a derivative, same sort of thing. It's just a glue stick. Um, this was a, a, a pasty, this goes on like a, a, a glue, but this works, this liquid glue stick. This stuff really works, believe it or not. Um, but it just doesn't go on uh, smooth and even. It, it really pours on. You know, this is designed for your kids at school who want to stick bits of paper together. Um, after a while, um, we ended up, trying some uh, sediments um, pre-mixed uh, or we've, we've, we've mixed this ourselves, he gave us the powder and we mixed this ourselves and um, this stuff really worked, this was really good stuff um, but it was alcohol based, it starts off in an alcohol water mixture you, you need alcohol to set that stuff off um, and while it wasn't bad um, nothing wrong with it at all, I, I found that um, Nowadays, um, this would work just as good as, as the Magigoo, uh, but at a fraction of the price, the sediment stuff. So this is just us putting it in, in a little sprayer bottle that we had left over from something. I think the old, the, old, um, the old Cove days, you know, when we were all running around spraying ourselves with sanitizers and all sorts of shit. Um, but I, I found that this, this ran a very close uh, second to this, but it was alcohol-based. And, and it wasn't a simple wash up in water. You would have to wash up in water and then use, um, say, an iso, uh, 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 iso uh, propyl alcohol to clean your beds with that. 
But nonetheless, it, it's a really good stuff. And Sediment now offers this in a uh, pre-mixed bottle, all branded, looks brilliant, works brilliant. It's a good product. Um, recently, we uh, we thought we ordered a we didn't think we we ordered a large um, we ordered a large uh, care package from Bamboo, which sort of included a couple of new printers. And a whole heap of parts and i thought ah oh, what the heck in for a penny in for a pound 25 bucks here in uh au um i'll give it a crack and um i gotta say fuck me dead if i'm lying this is the best product that i've used in a long 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 time um this shits all over magigoo absolutely obliterates magigoo bye bye magigoo um, this alone has, has just been the best stuff that hands down that I've used any any time and, and we've been printing for years now and we've been printing large volumes on large on large plates like big big plates lots of them um, and this is uh, this stuff's amazing so 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 what brought this whole um, this whole thing on was that I was printing these little kit cards for these dummy 13s and um i've got the bug and um i set a plate up go to bed and invariably you know um, at the speed bamboo printers move along at they um yeah i'd invariably get a fail you know you know um and, and a fail meant that it was taking out half the plate and um so i went looking for, for an alternative and i found these little um, kit cards by uh um one of the guys and i found that that helped a lot because basically what that does is it anchors everything down nicely um, and keeps everything on the bed this all really helps they pop off really easy um, they strip out really easy there's a um, really great way if you want to do your dummy 13s this is this is probably the best way to do them right now and i think even the guy who designed the dummy 13 mentioned in his thing that he was designing this but you know obviously someone um someone thought oh, i'm not waiting for you um, but it'll be there. You'll find it. You'll find who it is. I, I think maybe speed something or something like that. But yeah, we like you can see in, in multiple, multiple, um, we haven't had a fail. But every now and then, I just want to do a bunch of parts, or I want to do a selective plate of parts, and this would be it. Um, and this is exactly what you know made up my mind to come and do this video. Um, I started ripping these off. Um, I've done a few of these now um, using the bamboo glue um, and I know people say look if this plate's clean you shouldn't need uh, that but these are very small parts very small surface area to adhere to the plate um, and I came out I bought the pop the plate off and I went to I went to pop these off and uh, as you can see they're just not popping off they're not going anywhere I, I, i'm this is for real this is awesome um and this is peace of mind there's a couple of things that are that, that are peace of mind when i go to bed at night and one is i don't want shit falling on my bed because the swiper doesn't work and the other one is, is i don't want bits popping off the plate and um this stuff ensures that the difference between this, I've got no idea, say over a magic goo, they're both a, a liquid. But what I do know is this stuff's thinner. Um, it's, it's a lot thinner. And probably one of my, my, my biggest gripes with, with these magic goo applicators is that after using them for a while they end up looking like that and that's just simply because of this surface um, the surface tears up the tears up the the um the, the the little cloth pad that's on there look they still work you know because that's a little press in part and then the glue comes out and just runs out anyway so then you you're still getting your glue onto the bed but the problem is is that um the glue in here is quite thick it's a thick glue um, purpose purpose you know purpose done so I, i'd imagine um uh but they um it's a purpose glue um 
So I would imagine that um, uh, you could maybe thin it out a bit. These do pop out. We've, we've popped those out. Um, we've had one of these completely go. So we've popped it out and poured it into another container and got that container going that way. What I have found really, really does help though is what, what happens is, is with this particular glue, um, when you use it because it is a thicker glue, um, when you use it on a bed, so when you actually apply it to a bed, um, uh, the residue that's left in this cloth will dry up in there. And uh, that's what ruins these, quickly anyway, or helps to ruin them quicker. Um, so what we found is we keep a little, um, like a little thumb, you know, like the, in the old days, people had a little thumb jar when they were doing their paperwork and they dip their finger in it and get it a bit wet. Had a bit of, we keep one of those inside for this. I should have bought it out, but it's just a little tiny, you know, dipping bowl with a bit of water in the bottom and when we've finished using one of these we'll dunk it back into that and it saves it it keeps that moist it keeps the water in there and stops that glue from drying out and then we'll um, occasionally you know do it before a print as well that has helped to prolong the life of these of these glue sticks but what i find with this is because the glue's thinner it, it doesn't dry up as much it stays a lot more um, and because of that simple fact um, you're not you're not pressing as hard because the flow of, of glue is much much better um, it's just an easy glide on mechanism very gently and that's how these start off in the beginning but fast because of the thicker glue so when I'm using this on a powder coated bed, um, that's sandpaper and it will chew these up, but I do it softly. So I'm not killing it. And I get a very good layer that way. And I'll probably do it once every, you know, three or four prints. And you can see that um, I've added a couple of times. <laughs> what a way to stick your fingers together. Um, I've added a few coats probably to this over time. You can hear how sticky that still is. Um, look at that. I mean, that's that's <laughs> that's what you want. I mean, that's exactly what you want in your glue. That's how good you want your glue working. If you need to use it, if you feel you need you use to you need to use glue, if you're in my predicament, in our predicament. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I honestly I can't say how good this stuff is i mean you can you can see how much effort i got to put in to get these off the bed that's a lot and that's what you want you know and then at the end of the day that just washes off you just give that a wipe with a damp cloth and what your residue glue is gone but guys um I can't, you know, these guys just haven't put a foot wrong. Uh, not at any point, not at any stage. Um, the Bamboo Lab glue is by far the best glue um, that I've used today. Uh, it's expensive. I know, I know it's 25 bucks. This will last you, this lasts us months. And we run seven printers in there. Seven surfaces like that. And we've got a surface like this on the K1 Max machine and then there's just a couple of you know random machines that are just running whatever beds um glass yeah works brilliant on glass uh but that's it that that is the product at the moment i, I don't think i know of a, of a better glue i'm sure people will tell me that there's better glues but um, i can order this online it's here in two days time um i'll be ordering at least three or four more of those um Although I'm, I'm sure this is going to last us for months and months and months, as these have, you know, some of these can be, some of these are up to up to two years old. Some of, you know, that's probably two years old, that one. Um, second, second to the bamboo would be the Magigoo and Sediment Spray On. Uh, very close, very close these two. And when you consider what you pay for Magigoo um, and what you get from Sediments, um, that, that's a brilliant, um, that's a brilliant uh, spray on adhesive glue it just it's very simple um, and you can pile on as much of it as you want and it goes on but it is an alcohol based glue so you do get a smell from it that's probably too much you're probably looking something more like that 
Um, I've even seen um, uh, people, they've got a little um, a little uh, a card and they'll smear it across the bed. So they'll put it on just, you know, rub it across the bed. So it goes across the, the whole bed from one application. It does take a bit longer to, to dry and get going, but it's not a bad product. It, it For the most part, that, that, that tends to work well. Um, the Magic Goo, um, I mean, everyone knows the Magic Goo at, at some stage that tried or used it or, or had a crack at it um, this one's probably dried up again oh no there it goes <laughs> you can see like like there's no there's no messing around here um, you want something that that will that will stick that sticks magic goo kinda you know what I mean kinda and SIDS takes a bit longer because it's alcohol based. So it takes a little bit longer to dry out and get on the bed. But it does get there. But not to that degree. It's more to this degree here. But there it is, guys. Um, you know, I can't say enough about it. It's it's a fantastic product. Uh, um, <laughs> this bed's going to be a mess. <laughs> I'll take it inside to clean it up. Um, this shit takes forever to go off. But it doesn't go on as even as the other stuff. You always get, um, yeah. So there it is, guys. That's the new. That's the new uh, magic stuff for us. Bamboo Lab. Get a tube of it while it's hot. Cheers. <laughs>